Happy Friday, you guys. Uh, I hope you are looking forward to your Zoom homeroom meetings because I am. They totally make my Fridays better. I hope um, you guys are having just as much fun in those Zoom meetings as I am because I truly do appreciate seeing you guys and having fun with you. So make sure you get on that call at 1 o'clock. Don't forget. And obviously, don't forget to complete your four assignments for today. Um, it's Friday. I want you to have a good time. So... Let's go ahead real quick and knock out um, this over this review of your quiz. So you have a multiplication and a word problem quiz. And then I'm also going to introduce a science project that you guys can do over the weekend at home. If you do the science, well, you know what? I'll get into that a little later. I don't want to distract you from your test. Test first and then science project. All right, we got multiplication and word problem, which is pretty much all we worked on all week. So don't, don't worry. Don't stress. You already know it because you did it. You practiced it this week. Um, most important question here is actually, do you have pencil and paper next to you? You better make sure you click yes and make sure you're being truthful. Have pencil and paper next to you. Act like I'm sitting in the house with you. All right. You got multiplication with regrouping. I gave you some tough numbers at the end. Uh, make sure you are regrouping in the correct place. Place value. Make sure your commas look like commas and not ones. Even if you don't, um, add your comma in your problem, just make sure you put the comma in the back. Making sure you write your digits out in the correct order. Otherwise, it will be marked wrong. So make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing. Here, I gave you a little hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Oh, maybe I should actually title this hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But anyway, I gave you a hint, hint, nudge, nudge here for your word problems. Don't forget when you're looking for a total, you are either going to add or multiply. So think about that as you're reading the word problems. Uh, when you already have a total and you're giving some of it away, you are going to either subtract or divide. How do I know the difference of subtracting and dividing? Subtracting is when you're not going to put something into equal groups. So I know that I'm dividing whenever I give some friends the same amount of something. So if I decide to give Marquand, uh, Amari, um, Raymond, Ron, if I decide to give all of them the same amount of something, I'm then going to divide and not subtract. But if I need to take something away, for instance, if I ended up having six bags of chips today and then I was greedy and I ate two bags of chips today, I'm taking away those two bags that I ate in 30 seconds and then I'm going to take those away from the six bags that I had. So that's just simple subtraction. So know the difference. I divide when I'm having to give the same amount to a certain group of people. Um, I subtract when I'm simply just taking away a few. All right, you have these word problems. You are going to be good. Don't worry. Don't stress. Please don't guess because, again, you're not doing us any harm. You're doing yourself some harm by cheating yourself out of your learning. It is important that you get this down. It is important that you master it because I truly want to come see you in fifth grade um, at KAC, and I want to see you doing your best, and I want to hear from those teachers that you're doing your best. Now for the science project, and I'm going to post this on my daily announcements. So unfortunately, if you don't pay attention to those daily announcements, you're going to miss the fun. So make sure you are reading those daily announcements, especially like we, we say some funny stuff on there too. And we say some very important things too. So like, y'all make sure y'all read our announcements. Now, this is the experiment for this weekend. You can do it today after you do all your work. You can do it this weekend. Um, make sure you ask your parents first for the materials that you need do not go in the bathroom and grab the only bar of soap that y'all have and then pop it in the microwave i guarantee you your parents are going to be upset that they didn't know you were using some of the materials that you actually need to use in your house be sure to ask your parents for the materials first what you're going to need is a bar of soap now this says ivory soap i'm assuming that you can use any bar of soap but that's part of the experiment. Go ahead and test it out. Use what you have. Um, then you're going to need a microwave, a microwave safe bowl. I would suggest, and they also suggest that you using a large bowl. Um, make sure you get your biggest bowl that can go into the microwave safely. Here, you're actually going, and it's very easy once you get into it, once you have those materials. Um, I think it's just going to be very fun to watch. I might try it um, in my house and then record it and video it and send it to you guys um, in the announcements. Uh, so we'll see. I have to go see if I got an extra bar of soap, though. You want to place the bar of soap in the bowl, put it in the microwave on high for two minutes. You're going to watch it grow and then wait two minutes for the bowl and foam to cool. 
this is what it should look like, which I feel like is going to be really cool. But here's the other cool part. Guess what you can do with the soap? You can still use the soap. So they give you other ways to use the soap once it looks all foamy like that. They give you the uh, how behind it, like how it works and why it's able to do that. But here, you can actually do more with it. So one, let's say your parent is like, mm, no, nah, you're not about to waste our soap. This is one of the things you can tell them. Hey, ma, hey, dad, hey, auntie, hey, grandma, guess what? We can actually still use the soap. So by using the, uh, to use the soap, you will simply just break off the pieces and wash your hands or wash your body with the pieces from um, the foam. So you can still use it. So when you're asking your parents, don't forget to try to have that that little extra piece of, well, we're not really wasting soap, but, you know, this is what we can do with it. Or um, you can use it in the bubble bath. So maybe this weekend you want to go ahead and put that foam of soap in the bubble bath, get all nice and clean, sing you some songs, um, play you some Roblox, you know, whatever you do. Um, and then they also said something about you being able to uh squish it and mix it and turn it into clay uh that one i'm not going to try but i am going to try if i have an extra mark so to make it all foamy and make it cool like that you have questions about it uh text me call me but what i really want is for you to take a picture of it and please please send it to me don't forget miss adams don't forget i still love science even though we are doing a little math um share it with me i love to i would love to see it i love to hear about it I hope you guys have a great weekend. I wish you the best of luck on your quiz. Make sure you're doing the quiz in, before you do your science experiment.